What's going on guys? It's your boy Dev back for another one of these Reddit reviews. Let's get straight into it. I don't want to wait. I want to get straight into it. Let's go. So, anyways, no, I said let's go like that fucking video. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Anyways, let's bring up this meme right here. Let's go ahead and bring up this right here. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you up. I'm, I'm not really like looking at the titles. I'm just fucking, um, you know, just clicking on anything I see. Global getting baton battle. Yo. I'm going to bring that up. It's crazy. I haven't logged into global since yesterday. <laughs> oh, dad, can we get it? All right, give me this. All right. That. Let me see this. You already know. Oh, and a concept card. Come on now. Come on. Listen. Listen, I love me some concepts. Okay. Um, there's a whole lot of memes. We're gonna skip to the next page. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on. If I can get one more concept card in. Come on, page load. Okay. Another concept card, another concept card. Come on, give me one more, give me one more. Let me bring this uh, up too. And... Damn, can I get one more? Hmm. It might be really nice. Eh, fuck it, whatever. We'll probably find another one as we go. Anyways, first one, Super 17 Rob's GT Bosses. Let's take a look at this image right here. What is what do we got here, my boy? We got here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, is that Oceanus? I mean, not Oceanus. I forgot it's that green fucker's name. It's not Oceanus. Oceanus is the, the blue one. Who the fuck is this guy? Yo, I haven't watched GT in a while. Holy shit. Baby. Fuck it. <laughs> This go Omega STR real though, yo. This is so stupid, <laughs> yo. Mike Wazowski is going into a warp speed <laughs> from our boy Snuggly Eto. That's his name. That's his name. Anyways, good, good meme, good meme, good meme. Um, what SSR Super 17's art should have been? All right. Oh my God, it's a fucking. You know what's crazy? This actually fits him. This this art for Super 17 really fits him. Like, if this was really his art, that would have been funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> Damn, I forgot to get the other guy, uh, I forgot to get the other guy a fucking upvote, did I? Oh, I'm sorry, my boy, uh, Snuggletto. Sorry, my boy. Um, the random user, 2103. Good meme. Good meme. Straight face. And, you know, we gotta put the SFG. Straight face gang. You know, we're, we're all straight face gang. Listen, we're not laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. Who's laughing? Elijah, I know you're watching this video. You laughing? Hmm? Anyone else who's watching this video, you laughing? You think this is funny? Look at him. That's a trap face. You think this is funny? This is not a game. It's not a game. Anyways, another Super 17 meme. Super 17 should have been an Inhumans D lead. Honestly, I think he should have been a... Um, I mean, I agree with you on that. From our boy, Quentin BFR. I, I agree with you on that, and I also I also think that he should have been a target Goku lead. Yeah, man, because uh, another Androids lead? Are you fucking kidding me? Like that team, that team doesn't need another lead. I mean, it's cool that Androids got another buff because Androids needed it, but why? Why another fucking? Why? Hey, let's see this meme. <laughs> That's a lot of leaders you got there. Good job. <laughs> Reps Universe Seven, five leaders, three times. Uh, Fucking 170%, only 177% uh, lead. Updated recently. Three sub leaders, two free to play. Fucking androids. Five leads. Five leads. Bro, I was literally talking about this. Two times 170%, three times 150%. Updated recently. Two sub leaders, two free to play. Oh. Why did they give androids another lead? Honestly. They needed another LR, but they didn't need another lead. Autistic screaming, inhuman deeds. Only one 130%. To fucking stats lead, it's a gotcha LR. Hmm. I thought you about to say a fucking um, a, a fucking DFE. I'm like, wait a minute, no, that's not a DFE LR. It's a gotcha LR. It's fucking AGL Nappa. No new leaders in more than a year. <laughs> Yo, this is so stupid. Fucking Quentin, amazing meme, bro. Amazing meme. Anyways, moving on. Global's getting Paton battle from our boy Nova Ripper One. Thank you for fucking letting me know, my boy. Ah, yes. The time has come. I'm happy. It's about time. It's coming on the 24th, which is... Uh, huh, Monday. Okay. Cool. So that means... Um, I mean, I guess... Monday... Monday night? Monday night, like, 2 a.m., right? I, I don't really remember, like, the global reset time. 
or anything. Is it 2 a.m. or is it at night? I don't, I, Cause I don't know military time or fucking. I don't, I don't know this time. I don't know this time. But anyways, um, that's dope. That's dope. I got to catch up on my global a little more, man. Cause they dropped those easy A's. They finally dropped all the easy A's for global. I'm over here. Not. I'm not even caught up. I'm gonna catch up today though. Um, thanks for letting me know, bruh. You amazing for that. Here's a straight face. Crack myself real fast. Boom. Boom. Straight face. And SFG. Straight face gang, you know, only people who watch my videos know what SFG is. If you SFG, listen. We don't laugh. It's not funny. It ain't funny. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Thank you, Nova Ripper. One. Thank you, thank you. Anyways. Aw, oh, Dad, can we keep it? It's, it's fucking Broly ripping Golden Great Ape Goku. <laughs> Big ass nigga. Big yellow banana ass monkey. God damn, Goku. I mean, straight face game. It's not, it's not funny. It's not funny. Cool. Cool me. Cool me. Nah. <laughs> anyway, suffer. Let's see. Um, you see this. Oh. Oh. Ugh, that motherfucker, ew. He looks disgusting. Oh, and it's for my boy Shiny244. Shiny. You nasty fuck. What is this? This shit nasty. This shit, this shit nasty as fuck. Oh, I gotta I got push straight face, gang. What the fuck? This shit nasty as fuck. Ew. That shit nasty. Ew. You know what? Fuck you. Shave your Super Saiyan 4, Kochi. Ew! Look at this! Ugh! Burleazy, where you at? That shit disgusting. Alright, we move on to the concept card, finally. LR, Super Saiyan 4, Vegito, Zeno, Limits Broken, Concept. Okay, let me see this. Alright, uh, ooh, his card art is beautiful. What the fuck? Alright, let's see, let's see this. End all, be all, Super Saiyan 4, Vegito, Xeno, Limit Breaker. Oh my god, his fucking art is sexy. Grade 8 power, category 3, key 170% of the stats, or Realm of Gods. Key 3, 170% of the stats, why? Hmm. Is he on Realm of Gods in Dokkan right now? Why is he a Realm of Gods lead? He, he is, right? He is on Realm of Gods in Dokkan, right? Or am I bugging? Hold on, let me pull him up on my global, because that's where I have him at. This is uh, something I don't know. So I'm pull him up right now. Anyways, um, uh, his passive. Um, he starts out with 177% attack and defense at the start of turn. Gains 77% attack and defense when performing a super attack, and he has a 70% chance of countering super attacks. Wow. Okay. Well, he's he's already amazing from right there. Counters normal attacks with tremendous power, and he has 55% damage reduction. Okay. So. His 12 key, he gains 50% uh, attack and defense for 6 turns and raises allies attack and defense by 30%. Wow, and his 18 key, he, he gains 50% attack and defense and uh, raises allies uh, attack and defense by 40% for 2 turns. Yo, he's fucking cra- What the fuck? Yo, he's, he's great. He's great. Also, I don't see... The fucking hmm. Hold on, let me go over to my Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in game right now. Show yourself, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Let me see if you're actually on Roma Gods. I don't know if you are. Are you? He's not on Roma Gods. In game. What? Huh. I mean. Why? Why is he not on Roma Gods? But I mean, I guess. I guess. Anyways, whatever. Um, he's amazing. So to break this card down. So from his leader skill, he's a giant 8 power, 3 key and 170% of the stats, or Realm of Gods, 3 key and 170% of the stats, amazing leader skill. He starts out with 177% attack and defense at the start of turn, and gains 77% attack and defense when performing a super attack, it's fucking amazing. He has a 70% 70, 70 chance to counter supers, and he's a counter unit, and he has 55% damage reduction, so wait, 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 wait. He's up over, he's up over 200, he's over, up over fucking 200% defense. No, 200% attack and defense, up over that. 
He has 55% damage reduction. He's a counter unit, and he has 70% chance to counter super attacks. He's this this unit is fucking broken. God da damn! Damage reduction, a counter unit, a 70% chance to fucking counter super attacks, and yeah. <laughs> and he's support type unit on his super. <laughs> All they have to do is give him prepare for battle. Pre prepare for battle fucking uh, fuse fighter and he's okay. He they don't even have to give him over in the flash. They give him over in the flash, he becomes immaculate. He's already he'd already be fine with fucking prepare for battle fuse fighter like uh Vegito in game. Let me check uh Vegito's uh, links in game. Super Saiyan, Kamamiha, Fuse Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan, Roar, Fierce Battle. Oh my god. This unit is fucking amazing. Fuse Fighter, prepare for battle. That's all he fucking needs. That's all he needs. He gets over in a flash. He's a god. He already is a god. He has damage reduction, a counter unit, 70% chance to fucking counter supers, and he's up over 200% attack and defense. Just generically. He's amazing. Any game. <laughs> I mean, good fucking card. Good, good fucking. Yo, who made this? I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm just going to call you Jerome. That's how it says in your fucking YouTube thing. Jerome. Yo. Yo. <laughs> good ass card. Good ass card, but he's fucking broken. Jesus, I love it. You already know I gotta put the straight face gang. Listen, one day people are gonna be part of the straight face gang. Listen, it's gonna be a whole army. I'm not the one that started straight face gang, uh, honestly, but yeah, obviously, yeah, you know. Listen, that's pretty dope. Good ass fucking card from our boy Jerome. I'm not pronouncing this. I'm not pronouncing this fucking name. I'll just leave your name up on the screen, my boy. Anyways, moving on. I think it's I think it's time this becomes a reality. Alright, let's see. Let's see this, my boy. Alright. I need to zoom out because it's so fucking close. If you have any requests for the game, please let us know. Make the category list appear in the alphabet. I oh my god, I fucking I butchered that word. Make the category list appear in alphabetical order. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ, Dev, relax. Or, have a way to search categories by name. Oh my God, yes. Nah, fuck all that. Nah, fuck all this, fuck all this. Good idea, but no. I don't think that's really... Hold on, this has to be caps. Really that important. But, we need a friend system update. Please. Holy shit. Please update the friend system. Holy fuck, bro. The friend system is so bad in Dokkan, bro. Like, oh my god. That shit is... That shit is horrible. That shit's horrible. Anyways, come on. Can we get, like... Can we get something? Please. Please. Can we get, can we get like, a, a fucking... I, I don't know, bro. Just, just give us a fucking concept card. I'll pull up a couple of memes, but Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> One year at Dokkan. Alright, let me bring this up. I like achievements. Achievements are cool. Um, boring, boring, boring. I don't really want to see this shit. Can we get a concept card? Just drop a damn concept card, please. Please, bro. Someone. I'll pull up an achievement, because why not? Pull that up. Um, here you have someone at fucking Bob the Global Baton Battle. Ugh. I'm getting bored. I want to see fluff right now. Please. Please. Somebody. Oh, damn. Fuck. I thought this was a fucking uh, concept card. Alright, fine. We'll bring this up. Throw up another meme. Kind of impressed with the synergy. Let's bring this up. Why not? Who cares? Alright, moving along. Ugh. Man. Alright, dude. We'll bring you up. I'm just bringing up random shit. And Goku refuses to die. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And someone, someone, I know, ooh, okay, Int Baby, Vegeta, Easy AI, okay, listen, I like, I like concepts, pass that over, pass that over, alright, moving on, hmm, damn, so much fucking fluff, this fucking soft ass shit, redesigned for 17 and Golden Frieza, listen, I like to hear that, I like to hear that, alright, moving on, moving on, moving on, FR Super... <laughs> LR Super 17 is out, yes. Yes, he is. Honestly, you I don't tell people what to summon or for and what not to summon for. Listen, that's all you. That's all you. 
I'm not gonna be like the truth. No, you better save your stones for the six year anniversary. I think in my older videos, I said that it'd be smart for people to save for the six year anniversary. I think I said that in my older videos, but now at this point, summon whatever the fuck you want. It's your stones, bro. Go ahead, go crazy, go stupid. That ass. Um, let's go ahead and bring up another fluff because why not? Can't believe I lost this fight. All right, bring that up. Um, physical Omega Shenron easy A idea. His easy A is already out though. Oh, he's talking about fucking DFE, um, Omega. Um, my predictions for the seven year anniversary. Oh my lord. All right, let's let's keep let's let's go through all these that I fucking brought up. One year Dokkan, 365 days. Ah uh, yes, you love to see it. He has a consistent login. Listen, consistent logins are amazing. Keep it up straight face you know what i'm saying come on now you guys already know the deal you guys already know the deal from natty273 come on now come on now moving on alternative battle of wits team if someone is struggling focusing on str vegito okay, let me see this team this is from the gt legend and goku event right it is okay so let me zoom out just a tad bit ah yes he used uh dragon ball super trunks yeah dragon ball super trunks is not a bad uh character to use in this event obviously because he stacks <clears throat> Stacking units do they do well in this event, obviously. But yeah. That's that's not a bad team. He went with double tech trunks. Um Pycon. Fucking hmm, MVP 7 team. Interesting. Interesting. Um You already know that tech tech fucking LR Vegito blue carried with SCR Vegito blue sitting right next to each other. And he I think he he might have got the heal off with that fucking um Vegito. But anyways, uh yeah. I, oh my god, I cannot pronounce your name, but fucking good shit, good shit. I can't pronounce your name, my boy. I'm gonna leave your name up on the screen. Anyways, moving on. Alright, let's see. Nakato. Nakato Avocado. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> Yo, you're really disrespecting this man. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. You're really disrespecting him, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I already forgot his name. Is it Veku? It's not Veku, right? What, what the fuck is this fat... What's this fat nigga's name? Oh, my lord. This... <laughs> Yo. A good-ass meme. <laughs> Yo, come on now. Come on now. This time, no straight face game. We'll just leave that right there. Because I laughed at it. I laughed at it. Right? And then Nikado. Nikado Avocado. <laughs> that fat ass nigga. <laughs> kind, of, kind of impressed with this synergy. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Anyways. um, LR Bardock with Team Bardock. So this is all the links they share? That's actually not bad. Damn. Six key. um, A lot of attack and defense. Wow. Prepare for battle. Team Bardock. Fucking the Saiyan lineage. Whoa. That's that that is good synergy. That's agreed upon. LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, that's his name. Nice, clean, simple, moving on. Boom. Alright. Just a reminder, we might still be two weeks away from uh, the kids duo based on uh, previous year's release dates. Hmm. He is right. Hmm. Yeah, he does. Mm. With LR Super 17 just released, arriving version 24th, they might stretch it till early June. Then again, this year is a bit particular, so they might drop it around the week of the 20th. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. For my boy Sam Gas. That's pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on. Int Baby Vegeta. Easy A idea. Int Baby Vegeta. Oh, oh, I, I know exactly who that is. Int Baby. It's that fucking, um, is it, I think it's that Super Baby 2, right? The Giant Ape one? This guy right here, yeah. Actually, huh. He lowers attack. He has 100% attack when his HP is 30% or more. That's not bad, but he just has no defense. That's literally it. He literally just, just does, doesn't have any defense. Oh my fucking god, look at all these categories. Mama, holy shit. 
Yo, he will actually help a he will help a free to play player out if he got an easy A. God damn, them categories. If they make him crazy against pure hybrid Saiyans, like doing guaranteed crits and shit, that'd be dope. But you already know Cooler already does that shit, but still. Anyways. Um, so I wanted to do an easy A for in baby vegeta but i kind of struggle with him since lr baby himself does not have too much attack buff okay here's my idea um leader skill int type attack plus 35 percent per int key spear obtained <clears throat> go for the fucking punch and bag event basically a nuclear leader skill give you upvote his passive he starts out with 120 percent attack and defense at the start of turn artificial life forms Allies, one key and 20% attack and defense. That's good. Corroded body and mind, one key and 20% attack and defense. Yo, listen. I already like the easy A. I'm happy. When it was a pure or hybrid Saiyan category enemy, gain 40% attack when launching a super attack, transform into giant ape when conditions are met, 30% chance to turn into giant ape when HP is 20% or more. Okay, so he gains 50% attack for one turn on super and greatly lowers enemy attack. Yo, this is good. He's a support type unit to artificial life forms and uh, corroded body and mind, which is very fucking good. Um, he also gains uh, more attack when going against a pure hybrid saiyan, which is not too crazy, but you know, it's an extra little bit of buff. He gains 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Him gaining 120% defense will definitely help him out. What's his, uh, what's his fucking rainbow defense? 9,500, that's pretty low. At 55%, damn, that's also low. Holy shit. So he'll get slammed around a little bit. And um, provided he's in the provided he's either in the wrong or right position, he'll he'll still get fucking slammed around at 55%. Rainbowed, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Because I don't have this man rainbowed. But um, yeah. Great super attack effect. 50% defense on super and greatly lowers enemy attack. That's fucking amazing. He's a support type unit and has a good fucking super attack effect. I like it. I like it and you know another fucking cherry on top he has a, a chance to trend he has a chance, a chance to fucking transform twice a 30 percent chance to transform which is not too low but yeah not bad not bad that's actually not too bad i like it good shit bro good shit anyways redesigned for 17 and golden freeze all right all right and I already see some guy down here talking about it. I'm going to read his fucking comment. Anyways, damn. What the fuck is these pixels? Okay, I guess I... Okay. <laughs> I can see better now. I'm like, damn. Fucking pixels is crazy. Okay, Battle of Wits or Join Forces Category 3 Key and 150% stats. If I'm not wrong, they're Reps Universe 7, right? Let me bring the card up. I don't actually remember. They're our first battle, no? I, I don't remember. What the fuck? I don't use this unit like that. They are fierce battle. Okay, they better be. What the fuck? All right. Um, this with LR. They are extreme physical though, cause uh, Golden Freeze is in the card. Let's bring them up. Let's take a look at this card. Um, yeah, they are. No, they're the Universe Survival Saga. Damn, I do not use this fucking card. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of this card to be honest. I literally turned a blind eye to it when it fucking dropped. Battle of Wits or Join Forces Category Three Key and 150 percent stats. I like. Battle of Wits, but Join Force is such a weird, wonky-ass team. Um, they're a 12 key. They gain 50% attack for one turn and lower attack for three turns. Ow. So they're lowering the enemy's attack for three turns and gaining 50% attack for one turn. That's not bad. Lowering an attack for three turns, that's a long-ass time. Yo, super battle road? Woo, stop playing with me. So on the 18 key, they gain 50% attack and defense for one turn and they lower enemy's attack and defense for three turns. Holy fucking shit. That's good. That's pretty fucking good. Their passive. 70% attack and defense at the start of turn. Randomly changes key spears into rainbow for each Universe Suava Saga or Reps Universe 7 category ally in the team. Up to 7 key spears. I love. I love this design. I like it. I like it. Even though it's restricted to Universe Suava Saga and Reps Universe 7, both these teams are fucking amazing. They're amazing now. I mean, Reps Universe 7, a top team in the game now, primarily because LRUI Goku and fucking LREB Vegeta. But holy shit. I mean, Universe Saga Saga is also good. It's also a really good team, but Reps Universe 7. Oh, woo! Mwah! Amazing. Anyways, um, attack and defense 80% when collecting two or more Rainbow Key Spears and 30% damage reduction and launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack when collecting three or more Rainbow Key Spears. Wow, I like them. I like him. I'm a fan. Um, active skill. 7 key and 50% attack and defense and performs a guaranteed crit, but changes all 
rainbow key spears to type type fucking key spears okay i mean it's not bad can be activated after collecting six or more rainbow key spears starting from the fourth turn to start a battle that's not hard that's very fucking easy okay over in a flash in fighter solid support shocking speed tournament power fierce battle legendary power and in category state of same wow holy fucking shit so you gave them shocking speed and over in a flash and tournament of power oh oh my god yo you know what they'd be crazy next to go frieza nigga oh my goodness yo this yo this redesign good ass redesign holy shit good ass super attack effects um good ass passive yo yo i i love it i love it good fucking job wow i think we'll like throws him over the bow and makes him like insane like like much more better is this this rainbow key spear ability with reps universe 7 category allies in the team and universe outside category allies in the team too that makes it better that makes it way better wow but it's up to seven key spears it's interesting but yo good fucking shit that'll make the that'll make their teams that they're on even though they already run good because they practically universal Soul saga and reps universe 7 don't have a problem with key because tournament of power is three key but still in and of that that's really fucking good. Hitting 18 key supers with this unit will be easy as fuck. Holy hell. And they have a good active skill from the fourth turn start of battle. Fourth turn is not that bad. But yeah. Damn. Okay. I mean. Uh, wow. Good ass job. I like the redesign. Holy shit, my boy. Damn, I spelled it wrong. Woo. Good fucking job. Good fucking job. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. Don't really feel like a redesign and more so taking the entire concept of the unit out to make something different. It's um also in fucking parentheses. It's also more limited since it's dependent on Reps Universe 7 allies for Amber Key Spirits consistency. Hmm. Okay. The concept in its of itself isn't bad, but it's not really a redesign. Okay. I like the kit in and of itself though, changing orbs rather than uh, type orbs is an interesting mechanic and synergizes well with the rest of the kit. Yes it does. The active skill is a poison gift though, especially for their LR heavy category, turning all orbs into rainbow, although it's very strong. Yeah I do, I do agree with him, I do agree with him. I like, I mean I like the redesign, I like it. He says it's not a redesign, but I mean their links are changed. Hey, he, he changed their links. He changed their fucking active skill condition. He changed their what is their active skill? Yeah, he changed literally changed their active skill too. The whole their whole entire passive got fucking shifted around. Their super attack effects. Well, aside from their 18 key super, I mean 18 key super. Aside from their fucking 12 key super, got shifted around. Their leader skill got shifted around. I mean, it is a redesign. The categories didn't get changed though. So you're wrong about the this not being a redesign. But yeah. Unless I didn't read this correctly, yeah, unless I didn't read this correctly, then no, nah, bro, this, this has, this can't be, this is a fucking redesign, doesn't really feel like a redesign, and more so taking the entire concept of the unit out to make something different. I, I guess, we'll, we'll just leave it at that, I, I have nothing else to say, that. let's move on, let's move on, no big deal, no big deal. Anyways, can't believe I lost this fight, right, let's see this, let's see this. Damn. You actually lost this? Wait, but doesn't God Topo have damage reduction? Unless it's just a fucking meme. Why is Jernan in the second slot? Topo can tank the damage reduction. Yeah, I knew he had damage reduction. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Would have went for Bro and put Jaren. <laughs> Maybe he could tank the two attacks and finish him off right there. He could have, but a super attack would definitely kill Jiren. Depending on, well, if he's rainbowed. Nah, I think he still died. Nah, Jiren's still dead, no? Nah, I think Jiren would have died in this situation still, probably. Yeah, Jiren would have probably still took damage and died, because look at his health. If he was at full health, then Jiren would have been able to take the hit, but he's not at full health. Jiren would have got him killed. But Topo does have damage reduction in defense, so he would have been fine, right? Does Topo have damage reduction in defense? Yeah, this is from my boy, Red Shamu. Did I give that guy a fucking shot? Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Who made that fucking, um... Who made that concept card? Yo. It... Okay. Excuse me for not fucking making that a uh, shout out to that person. Yo, whoever that person was, shout out to you, bro. I'm, I'm sorry for not saying your name, bro. Anyways, moving on. Um, Physical Omega, easy A idea. Oh my god. Sh Listen, Physical Omega needs that easy A, man. 
Definitely. All right, so let's go over this, right? Actually, no, nah, we'll, we'll we'll use this to close out the video. We'll look at this right here. So my predictions for the seven year anniversary. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see what you have to show us, my boy. Okay, I guess not. Is it going to show me a picture of his thing? There we go. Now it is. All right, and this is from our boy Shrek. I, I'm not pronouncing that shit. What's your name? Yeah, guys, I ain't pronouncing this shit right here. You guys, gonna, you guys just read it. Oh, no, Shrek never dies. I was about to say. Anyways, um, this motherfucker built, like, he built a whole ass, wow, concept, oh my, it's a concept. Yeah, we're going to close out the video on this. Never mind. Shift the idea back over to Physical Omega. So, Physical Omega, right? Leader skill, Shadow Dragon Saga, 3 key, 1, 60% the stats, and Physical type, key 3, and 100% the stats. Super attack. Minus energy powerball. He does immense damage and gains 30% attack and defense for one turn and massively lowers defense. Massively lowering defense, garbage as fuck, but raising his attack and defense for one turn is good. I like it. Passive skill. Let's see. He starts out 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. Oh my god. Mwah. He gained defense. Holla fucking Luya. Nice. So 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. All enemies attack and defense minus 30%. That's fucking good for super battle. He will be a big help in fucking um. Shadow Dragon Saga Super Battle Road, amazing. Already love it from our boy. I, I can't pronounce this fucking yo. What is with these names? I, I I'm not pronouncing that shit. But I'm leaving your name up on the screen. Anyways, launches two additional attacks that have a 30% chance of becoming super attack. That's pretty fucking good. Um, 10% attack and defense and a chance of performing a crit by 5% per attack performed, up to 100% attack and defense and 50% chance to crit. So like, wow, that's. I mean, cherry on top. That's that's cool, but. You're not really going to see it this fully inside difficult events, but in long events, you'll definitely see this fully. Um, One key and uh, recover 5% HP per Shadow Dragon Saga stream type ally attacking in the same turn. Self-included. Okay, so he basically starts out with one key and 5% HP um, regeneration. Okay. When attacking the same I mean, nice concept. Good fucking job. Wow. I mean, these concepts are really like good shit. I, I love it. Wow. Good fucking shit. Now, I mean, I put the fucking crying face. <laughs> I'm not fun. I'm not fun to fucking cry this time. Nah. We ain't gonna sniffle up. <laughs> we ain't gonna sniffle up. But anyways, we're gonna end out the video on the fucking Shrek Never Dies 2. His is, y'all. This whole ass concept. Like, wow. This is amazing. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out too. Anyways, the... Is this a Legends art? This is a Legends art. Okay. The Light in the Darkness Super Saiyan Goku. OST. Wow, he even made an OST name. Dokkan version of the Super Saiyan Transformation theme. Leader skill. Hope of the Universe. 3 key and 159% the stats. And Super Types. Key 3 and 140% the stats. Interesting leader skill. Uh, Stats. Damn, he has some high-ass attack at 50... Um, Not at 55%. At 100%. Wow, that's crazy. At 55%, that is high. Wow, his defense is so high at 55% too. Damn. Damn, he's good. He's good. His 12 key, uh, he gains 50% attack and does Colossal. His 18 key, he gains 50% attack and defense for one turn and does Mega Colossal. Counter against physical super attacks. Okay. Counter against energy super attacks. Oh, he counters physical and energy super attacks? The first, the physical one is the gut punch and the fucking, the energy one is... Uh, the fucking um, angry. Oh my god, it zoomed in too fucking uh, close. Anyways, the physical one is the gut punch, and the fucking uh, the energy one is angry. Come on, me, that's dope. That is so fucking dope. Anyways, his active skill. <laughs> He's talking about it. Krillin. Oh no, can't be activated from the, from four turns that pass when going up against an extreme class or when going up against an extreme class enemy, and HP is 77% or above. Increases attack by 77%, and uh, gains 59% defense for 7 turns. Wow, that's fucking good. That's good. Wow. I mean, it's either 4 turns or extreme, or extreme type enemy, and HP 77% or above. That's good. That's not bad. Now look at this fucking defensive stat. God damn, it's just, wow. I love it. Anyways, it's passive. Oh, he has a revival skill. Wait, hold on. I, I've skipped over his revival skill. Um, revival skill. So arrogant. Quote. Get out of here, Gohan. Go. It's so arrogant of you to believe. Oh, my God. And he fucking powers. Oh, my goodness. That, yo, he'd be so dope as a seven-year anniversary unit. Um, So he starts out with 200% attack and defense to start a turn. Super type allies. Uh, 
super class allies two key and 35 percent attack and defense extreme type enemies uh, attack and defense minus 90 percent he has a 30 percent chance of dodging um default in his um passive he gains one key up to five key with every super type uh, ally on the team that's pretty fucking good plus additional 30 percent defense with every super type ally on the team plus an additional 30 percent defense with every super type ally on the rotation including self up to 90 percent yo oh my god he has a lot he has a lot with him he has a 50 percent chance of dodging super attacks and countering with oh my goodness he has a 50 percent chance to fucking dodge super attacks and counter he has 30 percent chance to dodge default lean is passive wow it's pretty fucking good that's not bad i mean 30 percent chance to dodge is not something you should rely on but it's there it's there anyways if the character or an ally in attack in the same turn receive a carrot attack okay blah 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 he revives with uh, and recovers 59 percent hp once only okay so he has to be in the same rotation so basically if you fucking die in a rotation with either your ally or fucking him you just survive and gain 59 percent hp okay cool he probably has a sick ass survival animation too anyways let's move on over to frieza holy shit and who, who's this over here oh my god but why why new cat i mean uh. all, right, all right all right let's let's take a look at frieza frieza is probably dope i mean i'm liking goku he's pretty cool but like let's see frieza extreme tech thank god what's goku what is he super physical oh my god yes super physical i mean super physical does do they need him i mean sure who gives a fuck um frieza yes ost am i really gonna read that off his name i'm not gonna read it off <clears throat> Alright, Immortality, 3 key, 170... Oh my god. Yo, he's 3 key, 177% of the stats to his new category? Just like Reps Universe 7? Wow, okay, cool. That category must be small as fuck then. Um, Stream Class, um, Allies, 3 key, 140% of the stats. His... Okay, well, I mean... He... Oh my goodness, look at his defensive stat at 55%. Whoo! That's disgusting. That's disgusting. He has low attack for a uh, hundred percent and fifty five percent, but his defensive stat. What the fucking fuck? Okay, let's see his active skill before we move on anything. Um, can be activated when five or more turns have passed, or character receives four or more attacks and HP is seventy seven percent below. Okay, so the active skill is bad, to say the least. This, this active skill is ass. Um. Uh, so he gains thirty percent defense and deals colossal on twelve key, and he gains fifty percent attack and defense one turn. And it's AOE. Nice. I mean, cool. Cool. Makes him useful for the World Tournament. All right. Uh, his passive, his passive skill, right? So he starts out with 235% attack and defense at the start of turn. Take a look at his defense for a second. 15,177 at 55%. Now look at his defense at fucking 100%. Up over 18,000. What do you guys think his defense is going to be starting out with 235% attack and defense at the start of turn? 300k 350k 400k he's gonna be sitting at a monstrous i mean i haven't even gone over the rest of his passive yet he's gonna be sitting out a monstrous defensive uh stat anyways super type enemies uh, attack and defense minus 30 um 35 excuse me 25 percent um 25 percent damage reduction defaultly that's pretty fucking good so he has 25 percent damage reduction just sitting there with over 235 percent attack and defense at the start of the turn that's pretty fucking good Plus an additional 7% damage reduction with each attack received up to 25%. So he gain 50% damage reduction. Oh my god. He's so good. 2 key up to 5 key with every attack dealt. And guard active against all attack. Yo, he guards? He guard. He's better than Goku. He's better than Goku. Holy. Goku, you have nothing on this Frieza. Holy shit. He guards with 55% damage reduction. With over 235% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he gains key with each attack dealt. Oh my fucking god. He's amazing. Launches an additional super attack. Oh no, excuse me. I lost my train of thought. Launches an additional super attack if an enemy is super type. Okay, that's pretty good. Because super super class uh, enemies are literally like over 80% of the game. Launches another additional super attack of the enemies of pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans or super Saiyans category enemy. So he'll basically launch fucking three super attacks. Oh my god, in the right situation. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, performs a crit hit if the enemy is Goku. Okay, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. If it's Goku, alright. I mean, there's a lot of fucking Gokus in the name, but this excludes Goku Black, Ginyu, and Junior. Oh my fucking god, bro. 
Frieza has damage reduction. Over 235% attack defense at the start of turn. Fucking gains key with each attack dealt. He guards. He guards with damage reduction and defense. He takes damage nowhere. Do you guys understand that? Do you guys understand this? And he's AoE and his 18 key super, which will make him useful for world tournament. Wow. Wow. I mean, Frieza's better. What more is there to say? Goku's good, but Frieza's better. Holy shit. Let's take a look at these categories. Hope of the universe. All characters that save the universe, all Goku units, all future Trunks units, uh, all future Gohan units, all post Dragon Ball Piccolo units, all Cell Saga and post Cell Saga Gohan units, all Kid Buu and post Buu Saga Vegeta units, all Reps Universe 7 units, Frieza included, all Fusion and Batar units, excluding Merge Zamasu or Fuse Zamasu and Kibito Kai. Definitely more I don't remember. Okay. I mean, I mean, I hate that Dokkan adds so many new fucking categories into the game instead of buffing old ones, but who gives a fuck? Immortality. All characters that have to seek immortality, all freeze units, obviously. All King Piccolo units, obviously. All Cell units, obviously. All Kid Buu units. Kid Buu seek what? Kid Buu seeked immortality? Hey, he he yeah, he said something. Okay. Um all garlic jun eh, garlic junior units. All Saiyan Saga Vegeta units makes sense. All Zamasu units and Fuse Zamasu units included. All Goku Black units. Okay, so everything makes sense, but Kid Buu and Perfect Cell. Cell and Kid Buu have sort of a pseudo lobster immortality. They're immortal until they died. Probably more I don't remember. Yeah, I'm, I, I was feeling iffy about Cell and fucking Kid Buu. Anyways, I mean, yo. Know, Frieza's fucking broken. And Goku is ass. Enough said. But good job with the I love them both all jokes aside and straight face gang no 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 we have to be a little downwards for that one now I appreciate you guys watching we're gonna end off on that I haven't read that many comments in this video I just didn't really feel like it shout out to Shrek never dies good ass cards Good ass cards. Goku's good, but Freeze is better. I mean, guard, damage reduction, and fucking defense. Goku, you have nothing on that, baby. I'm sorry. Your revival mechanic does literally nothing against Freeze. Oh my lord. Wow, Freeze is amazing. So appreciate you guys for watching. Join the 24 7. I'm telling you guys, we goats up in there. We goats. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys are amazing, and peace.